Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to another session of the Unity Game Dev. I'm your host, Frederick. And today we're looking for inspiration for my new app I'm developing in Unity 3D uh, called 3D Meditation. Well, actually, the name is still TBD. We don't know exactly what we're going to call it yet, but something to do with 3D Meditation. So let's go head over to the Unity Asset Store to see if we can find something. So I'm looking for environments. Uh, I want to start out with uh, maybe an island to begin with. Um, and I'm going to be looking for asset packs, uh, environment packs, because you sometimes get better deals when you buy a whole pack. Mm, I'm going to try and keep it below $50. I want something that's not too complicated. Uh, this is meant for the mobile app development, so I don't want to modify too much to have it run smoothly on my iPhone or Android device. Um, so maybe something kind of low poly. Well, we don't want a forest. We want something with maybe water around it, like an island. Nope. Let's see. Ooh. This looks pretty. Wow. That is some crazy detail. But nope. That's gonna slow down. Be slow on my mobile phone. So. Let us see. Is there anything else? Uh, there we go. Tropical Environment Pack. 12 bucks. Excellent price. Let's hope there's some animations attached to it. Yes, there is. Let's check this out. Oh yes, that's perfect. Mm, let's see. It was released July 19, 2019. So it's not too old. We got some five star reviews on there, six of them. Uh, pretty high rendering, uh, high resolutions. 42 prefabs, which I can maybe reuse in other projects. So yeah. I'm gonna get that guy. Okay, so now we got to create a new project. It's gonna be 3D. And we're going to call it 3D Meditation for now. Let's create that guy. Here we go. Now let's go open up the asset in the asset store. Hmm, I gotta log in first. There we go. Let's click on my assets. And there's the tropical environment pack. Let me download it. And import. Okay, so when you do that, you get a list of 
all the objects that will be imported. Uh, usually I just check to make sure there's, um, there's it's not using a top level name that's already in my project. Um, since this is the first thing I'm importing, this is fine anyways, don't really have to check that. So let me import it. This is gonna take a little while. Okay, and there we go. Island pack is here, so let's see what we got. Usually when I import the asset, I kind of go investigate a little bit. And I'm always looking for demos to get me started. And here's the demo scene, so let me open that one. Go to scene. Let me just click somewhere. Okay. Just a little trick, you can always, uh, if you want to focus on something, you can click somewhere here on the arrow key item on the object, and you press F, so you double click it, it goes in. And if you want to zoom in again, you can just click F, and it will zoom in automatically. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let me play this scene, see what happens. Oh, a little camera flyby. Yeah, that looks very calm and relaxing. I definitely think I can use this for this app. It gives me a nice feeling, the contrast of the colors, the blue, the clouds, the green, the water kind of moving. I could just imagine when I attach the sounds to the ocean and maybe a little wind. Um, Maybe you have birds here and there, and as you move, the sound dynamics will change or the composition of the sounds will change. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next one, we'll be deploying the app to an Android and an iPhone device. The reason being is I usually want to test out new assets on these phones before I move on along to make sure everything is running smoothly. If you do it at the beginning of the project, it's much easier than when you've done a bunch of coding and added more assets and you know then you start running into slow slowness issues and uh, you don't know where to begin so with a big environment like this I try and do that at the beginning anyways uh, please give me a like if you like the video and subscribe and check back in a week or so for the next one thank you so much bye bye